Would you rather have the speed of Sonic or would you rather have the strength of Knuckles? Tough question, eh? Good. Welcome, 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 everyone. I am the Blue Nomad, and this is the Blue Nomad Gaming Show. I'm your host, Timothy Rogers, and today we're going to be playing an episode called Would You Rather Sega Edition. Now, the rules are very simple. My wife and I must choose between two great things or terrible Sega-related things. Then, to get points, we must guess what the other one picked. It's like the dating game, except with more trash talk. All right, and let, let's waste no more time, and let's get right to the action, right after some banging intro music. Hit it! <laughs> The Blue Nomad Gaming Show. 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 What up, everyone? How are you? My name is the Blue Nomad, and this is my wife. Lainey. <laughs> Tonight we're playing Would You Rather Sing a Edition. This is Sparkle Finger. Jazz hands. Jazz hands, exactly. Or Sega hands. In this case. Mm -hmm. Alright, so would you rather uh Sega Edition entails how well do you think you know me? <laughs> pretty well, but we'll see about in Sega Land. All right, so in the Sega verse, there's multiple things that she might not know about me, and we're I'm gonna, about to learn a lot about her. So we have our handy dandy boards here. So the the rule of the game is I have to pick what she guesses, and she has to pick what I guess, and then we'll reveal what we actually picked, and make fun of each other if we got it wrong. Probably not. That's rude. That is. And how dare But the us. blue nomad is very rude. He is not. He's very snarky. <laughs> I, I, I am offended by that. Whenever I, whenever I see Comment him, below if you agree with me. The snark is strong with this one. Whenever I see him, I'm going to tell him what you think about him. Snarky. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Question number I one. Him anyway. Thanks, babe. Would you rather start every conversation by saying... Hey, do you know where I can find any sailors? I'm trying to locate some sailors. Or would you rather end every conversation by running away as fast as you can and yelling, Gotta go fast! Gotta go fast! So, what do you think we chose? And we're about to write down our answers. Do -do. Do you think we got audience land? All right, so I'm just going to go ahead right now and tell you that I think that you picked, for you, Gotta Go Fast, number two. Meh. <gasps> Dang it. You picked Sailors? I think it would be hilarious. <laughs> you picked, you're going to go up to every stranger building. Hey. Do you know where I can find sailors? Yes, because I walk up to strangers and say, I love your shoes. So I might as well say, I love your shoes. Do you know where I can find any sailors? <laughs> I didn't walk away. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, what do you think I picked? Well, I saw your answer, I think. Maybe this is confusing to me. I picked that you would say, gotta go fast. Because you're always moving. Incorrect. We're back I wrong. Also, I also Why think it would be hilarious. <laughs> I think it would be really funny. All right, here we go. Zero points, Zero for, points for both. Number two. Would you rather own a wisp or a chow? Or right, here we go. Ready? Go. Is this like in real life? Yes. If it were real, it existed, it was right in front of you, it could be in your house. Okay. All right, ready? Here we go. Lainey, what do you think I got? 
I voted that you picked a wisp. You're correct! Oh, One point for like... you. And I predicted that you would pick a chow. You're right. Chows are much cuter. Well, Why do you think I picked a wisp? Because it gives powers. That's true. That's true. I would love to be a, a, a bolt of like laser and shoot across the and sky. And I picked a chow to give it to Emmy. Oh, <laughs> our daughter. She loves pink chows. Pink rose. You pink her. rose. It's a pink show. rose. All right. So one point. Here we go. Very nice. Let's move on to question number three. Would you rather, every time your name is spoken, have to strike a pose like ooh la la, or would you rather, every time your name was spoken, you have to dance like Amigo? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, here we go. Okay. I think you... I think this is difficult. I agree. Because I think both of these would be funny. <laughs> but one more disruptive than the other. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two. Actually, you know what? Just tell me. Actually, I'll go first this time. I think you picked Strike a Pose like Ula. I did. I didn't think I was going to. But then when I imagined it in my mind, <laughs> I, I decided I should do that. Do you like striking poses like Ula in your not. life? Right. No, unless there's music and I'm dancing by well, myself. Well, you would hear the music in your head, but you would be the only one. Yeah, Which but also imagine, sounds like insanity. Imagine how disruptive and distracting it would be if every time somebody said, Miss Rogers, I went... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd say your name all the time. Like Ella Enchanted or something like that. Yeah. Where they could make her do anything. Yeah. All right. What did you think that I picked? I picked the same for you. I thought you would also pose. No, I want to dance like a Mika. And actually, I'd like that hat to appear in the maracas as well. Because I think that would be hilarious. And people don't, people don't, he's a monkey. monkey he, can have, he can have whatever culture he wants. Because monkeys are worldwide. That's true. They're in every place. As are humans. Except Antarctica. All right, number four. Would you rather... Never play a Genesis game again on any system. Or never play a Dreamcast game again on any system. Ah, uh, here we go. Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, audience? Um, Three. No, I'm not ready. Oh, whoa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, sorry. I apologize. That was very shrill. <laughs> did we get, did, hold on, what points did we get last time? You have two points, I think, and I have one point. You can check the replay, but I think you have two. Okay. So don't let me see that. Don't. Um. If she scores a point this time, it's because she cheated. I did not cheat. <laughs> She's the real nomad, not me. No. <laughs> not even what a nomad is. All right. Oh, I feel very confident on this one. Excuse me. Are you name dropping in the midst of my I am. video? This is a collaboration video. <laughs> How dare you? This is our family channel. They're already here. I already said like and subscribe to yours first. It does. You do, snark man. All right, here we go. What do you think I picked? Dreamcast. Never play a Dreamcast game again. You are correct. Woo! All right. I also picked the same for you. You're right. Yeah. I don't know what games are on either of those <laughs> things. But I see that there's a picture of Sonic on that one. So okay, I so it cute. Dreamcast that happened when I was older. So... I was in my early well, 20s. We own both of them. We do and own Dreamcast both of them. just looks clunkier to me. More like a refrigerator or a washing machine. Well, that's the controller. Like, that's not yeah, it. but it is. I, it's, I don't like its color. Oh, it's one of the only white Sega systems. That's probably why. Yes. So we both got points on that one. For all of you Dreamcast fans, I'm sorry. 
I do love it, but I grew up on Genesis. I couldn't, could not. All right, so we're gonna be right back with question number five. Gotta go. Hey, guy, you're the first serious gamer I've seen all morning. Check this out, brand new 16-bit Super Nintendo and Super Mario World, wow! What's this one? Oh, this is a Sonic the Hedgehog from Sega Genesis. Hey, look at these radical colors, huh? Wow, Sonic's fast, too. No, over here. I like Genesis, and it costs a lot less. Wait, kid, that game I'll there. I'll take Sonic and Genesis. <laughs> I knew that. Sonic the Hedgehog, more action, more speed. Sega Genesis, it's a whole lot more for less. Would you rather be part of the GGs from Jet Set Radio or the Blue Rogues? From Skies of Arcadia. That one. Ready? Ready. Steady. I think that you... Wait, did I go last time? I don't know. All right. Ah, that's really cute. I think that you would have chosen the GGs. <laughs> Shut up. For real? I don't you believe be in vandalism. Oh, too shy. <laughs> However, these guys go are up in the sky... And they're on ships, which sometimes explode. So I figured it doesn't sound like, I don't you, know how sound like your forte. I just all right, don't want so, a graffiti place. All right. So what did you think I would choose? The Blue Rogues are correct. Point Man, for she's me. good. You tied it up with question five. It is the last question. <gasps> Here we go. Are you ready? I am <laughs> so ready. All right. Uh, Number six. Would you rather your husband or yourself have a mustache like Eggman every day for the rest of his life? Or would you rather your husband or yourself would dress like Majima every day for the rest of his life? Ready? Three, two, one. Let's see. All right, I got it, and I think I won the game. <laughs> Here we go. Probably. Three, two, one. What did you give me? What do you think I picked? A mustache. No. Oh, that's embarrassing. I did not. I would rather just like our couch. Majima. <laughs> <laughs> These are Majima colors. You know how I feel about this couch. <laughs> All right, what did you say that I picked? I'm sorry. You already did that. I think you picked Majima for me. No, gosh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> what is up with a mustache? Why would you pick that? Look, you look like a cat. Aw, that's cute. No, I look like Eggman. <laughs> Literal Eggman. Yep. Why would you Why would you even think, because that's cute that you would think that I would do that. But why would you pick a mustache for me like that? Because you already have a mustache. And those clothes are rough. <laughs> you would look really... Odd. I mean, I guess you'd look odd either way. Yeah, that's that's kind of the point but, of the question. But I understand your thinking. Yep, you know how I always say strike them a dollar, strike with no fees? If you strike, maybe we can afford a couch cover. <laughs> <laughs> I hate our couch. I appreciate it. It's the Majima couch. couch now, so it's fine. But I don't like its look. Oh, okay. I understand. But we can green screen it out if we just cover it with a green screen. <laughs> we can make it look like anything yeah. we wanted. It's All so right. Fun. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. We hope you had a good time with the Would You Rather. Uh, and as one final parting shot. You won. Did I win? No. no we, tied. We, tied. we tied. We tied. I finally didn't lose a game. I lost every game on this channel I've ever played. Still haven't won, but this time but I didn't lose. You didn't lose. So there we go. All right. We're going to send you back to Tim in the studio. And... Thanks for watching. Later. We have reached the end of the video, and I hope that you've enjoyed the Would You Rather shenanigans that have occurred. We're going to be back next week with more Sega goodness and bloody weapons as we fight it out in Golden Axe on the couch. Like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing here, or if you just love Sega. If you're into sending me $1, I use Strike with no fees, and you should too. But, 
we're out of time. So until next time, Sega Nation, stay true, stay blue, and God bless. Laters.